Hey guys, welcome to your third video in a row. I'm Dave Shaves. Today I'm trying something new that I've never tried before. I picked this razor up at a vintage store oh, a couple months ago and I've yet to try it because I hadn't, you know, sterilized it, cleaned it, everything like that. I took the time to do that today and I thought, why not? It's actually an interesting story. It's this razor right here. I picked this up at a vintage store in the area, as I said, and I had no idea what it was. I'd never seen anything like this. There's no branding on it. There's no uh, patent numbers, nothing. There is no discernible or, identifi or identifiable marks on this thing at all. The only thing identifiable on it is the way it looks. Well, a couple days after I got it, I actually happened to be on Twitter and one of my followers actually posted an article about this razor. And it turns out this is a very cheap European vending machine razor. Uh, it's not very old. I think the article said it was from the 80s, if I'm not mistaken, but it's European and it's, it's teeny tiny and it's very cheap. Very, very cheap. As I said, came from a vending machine. Uh, it doesn't look like the greatest of razors, so I don't know how it's going to do, but I'm fascinated by it. Uh, I mean, it's got an open comb on it, which kind of bodes well a little bit for at least being a little bit more aggressive, so maybe I can get something good out of it. We'll see. Pairing with that, I am using my go-to blade, Foscod. As all of you know, I pair every razor I'm trying out with a Voskhod blade because these blades work the best for me, so I get the most uniform shave. So it's going to give me the best option. Now, pairing with that, we're going to be using Parasso Green Shave Cream. Going to be lathering that up with my trusty old original shave brush because again i don't want too many unknowns and then we're going to be finishing up with brute classic aftershave so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to go ahead and put some parasso in my trusty vikings blade bowl and we'll see how we do So I'm really interested to see how this does. I have no idea. I've never seen a video on it. I've never seen it before I picked it up. So I, it should be interesting. And apparently it is, it's cheap. I mean, it's a very cheap razor. And from what I read about it, it's not very good. But what do you expect? If I don't get a very good shave out of it, I don't. It's just a neat thing for my collection. So even if I can't use it again, it'll be interesting to have. All right. Luckily, this thing lathers quickly. I'm gonna get a really nice lather with it. Because if I don't, I'll end up just having to use the remnants of it. I really want to try to get a good lather on my face today. But lathering is not something I've ever had an issue with with Parasso Green. Think that should be a decent lather. Go 
ahead and rinse off my hands. Splash some water on my face. Take off my glasses so I don't get water all over them. And for those that are noticing my Tampa Bay Bucks shirt, yes, you're right, I do live in Nashville, but I was raised in Tampa. And while I hate the city of Tampa, I gotta give props to my team. Gotta give the love to my team. They're losers, and I know it, but they've been my team since I was a kid. They're gonna be my team forever. So, let's go ahead and, so that's what, that's why the shirt. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start lathering. Tell you what, that's a hell of a lather. That is a hell of a lather. So I've been losing all track of days recently. Like, I don't actually know what today's date is. I know it's Friday because I asked my wife earlier. What's today? The, is it the six, 16th, right? October 16th? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I just realized we are two months away. from my 38th birthday. Nope. 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 Don't like that. Don't like that. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right. First pass. Actually, for a cheap razor, it's not doing bad. I'm impressed. But maybe that's why I didn't remember what the date was. I was blocking it out. Two months. God, are we really in October already? I mean, halfway through? That's insane. Where did this godforsaken year go? And how do we make it go faster? Well, I better be careful what I wish for because probably end up with an even worse year next year. Oof. Shit. Bunch of hair that time. I, you know, I was toying with the idea of I was toying with the idea of taking off the beard early because um, the more I shave, the, the more I take out of it. So, but I'm going to try to keep it. I just, I don't know. And I'm going to be able to. I mean, like I said, the end of the month is when I'm planning on shaving off the beard anyway, with everything except the mustache. As I mentioned. In previous videos. But I want to try to keep the beard because a lot of people love my beard. My friends, my wife, like everybody that I've asked are all like they love my beard. So I want to keep it as long as possible. But 
we'll see. I mean, it'll grow back, but I want to keep it. I want to try to keep it. So we'll see. All right. First pass, actually not bad. Um, I mean, granted, there was only like a day's worth of growth, obviously, because I did a video yesterday. But for that razor, it's better than I was expecting. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to see what happens after pass two, but I don't even think I might need pass three. Pass two might be good. Shaving cream everywhere. Fire in the hole. I tend to shoot shave cream. You can't see it, but every time I shave, I shoot shave cream like across the room. I'll find shaving cream over on the wall over there. It's pretty amusing. Same thing over here. But maybe that's good, maybe that evens it out. There's not gonna be much left. I mean, I'm gonna have to, I... I was also toying with the idea of going down to a goatee, um, so doing it in phases. Starting by taking it down to a goatee here, um, either today or in a couple days. <laughs> and then, um, mustache after that. We'll see. We'll take a look after this shave. See how the damage is. Maybe it's still usable, maybe it's still workable. Actually, I'm gonna go in for a third pass, just because on the bottom, specifically. Wasn't going to, but I really wanna get a decent shave. I don't always chase the BBS shave, but honestly, after a shave, I, I hate the feeling of stubble right after a shave. I mean, my beard grows ridiculously fast anyway, but I hate the feeling like I just, I hate the feeling because then I feel like I didn't shave. So I at least want to have some form of smoothness, even if it's not necessarily BBS. I at least want some, something smooth. I mean, am I the only one? Is that just OCD? What, I mean? Is there anybody else that feels that way? Like just gets annoyed by stubble immediately after a shave? Just every time, more hair. I... I 
I mean, I'll end up with stubble within a couple hours anyway. So, I'd rather not give it any extra ammunition. on the bottom. Honestly, you know what I'm noticing now with this? And this is a brand new blade, so it's not the blade. And Voskod doesn't do this with me anyway. There's a lot of pulling and tugging. It's not a very smooth coasting shave across my skin. And it's not the shaving cream. Because Parasso Shave Cream always gives me a nice slick feeling. So it's definitely the razor. It just gets, maybe it's because it's old, I mean really old, and it just gets caught on the, on the skin. I mean, not really old, but It looks older than it actually is, and I think was my point. Ow! Fuck. If I cut myself, and I may have, it's because of the it's because of the razor. I I've never cut myself with a Voskot blade. Aside from little weepers. And yeah, I, it got caught on my skin. Maybe it's the angle I was going to eat. This razor just doesn't like the angle. But that is not a comfortable shave. Like just the experience of the shave is just not comfortable. I mean, it's not terrible. In forms of the, I mean, in the case of the actual blade, or the actual shave, it's, it's not terrible. Just kind of took a couple, see that? It's because it got caught on my skin, this stupid razor. If I use this thing again, it won't be often. See how my beard is. Okay. Actually, I can't really see where I took chunks out, so that's good. The beard lives to see another day. Granted, it's like this thick. It's really thin right there. Same over here, really thin. But it looks good on me, so I like it. I like it a lot. So, beard lives to see another day. It's... All right. Let's try to get rid of this blood. Actually, going to go in for my actual stick to pencil. I have the the nip stick from Pacific Coast Shaving Company. Is that what it is? Yeah, or Pacific Pacific Shaving Company. But I think the Vasca or the Jesus or the uh, stick pencil is actually a, a better option today. Burns. Burns like a mofo. Alright, 
See how that does? Yeah. Not happy with that razor. Wow, how did I end up going 20 minutes on this, on this shave? Thought this was gonna be a quick one. Sorry. All right, splash some brute on my face. And there we go. So, if you come across that razor, I don't recommend it. Pick it up for your collection because it's kind of neat looking. But other than that, I would use it. All right. If you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. You like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me a comment below. That said, of course, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.